This Chipotle burrito bowl cost me $20. Yes, that's a lot of money. And yes, I still order it every single week. Because between working full time as a product manager, building a second YouTube channel, trying to stay fit and running at least 15 miles a week, taking care of my son Yogi, I really don't have time to cook lunch. And that's where Chipotle comes to my rescue. It's a relatively healthy meal that I can have delivered to my door in 20 minutes. But Here's the thing, besides being pretty expensive, sometimes it's over salted, other times there's like three pieces of chicken in my bowl, there's never enough corn, it's cold. and maybe it's just me, but I feel like the bowls have been getting smaller and smaller every year. So in this video, I challenged myself to make a better version of the Chipotle burrito bowl, a version that's healthier, that's cheaper, and that has an Indian spin. Here's what you'll need and the full ingredient list will be down below in the description. For our protein, we'll make grilled chicken thighs seasoned with a tandoori marinade. The beans layer will be chenna masala made with chickpeas and plenty of aromatics. We also got some classic chipotle sides like fajita or masala veggies. And my favorite, corn salsa made with frozen corn, onions, jalapeno, and cilantro. And all of this will be layered upon some jira rice. To keep ourselves organized later, start by prepping all of the veggies now. Most of the veggies are onions, so I'm warning you now, prepare for the waterworks. Slice some onion, bell pepper, and tomato for the masala veggies. Oh yeah, and don't forget to remove the core from the bell pepper. I used to leave it in, thinking that I was enhancing the flavor, but no, it does not work that way. Then finely dice the remaining veggies. Now let's marinate the chicken. To a large bowl, add plain yogurt, tons of ground spices like chili powder, uh, wait, okay, wait, not that much, unless you're ready for some fiery regret. Also some coriander powder, turmeric, cumin powder, garam masala, black pepper and salt, lime juice, ginger garlic paste, and some oil. Pat each chicken thigh dry with a paper towel to reduce moisture. Then make three slits in each thigh and add to the marination and really be sure to get the marinade in there. Cover and pop this into the fridge for up to overnight. Let's start with the rice. I'm making one cup of rice per two servings. Add half a tablespoon of oil and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Once the rice is cooked, mix in some cilantro and set aside. Time for the beans, aka the chana masala. Heat a pot with one to two tablespoons of oil. Add the diced onions and a teaspoon of salt. Cook until the onions are transparent for about four minutes. Next, stir in a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and cook for another two minutes. Now toss in the tomatoes and cook for another minute. Add all of your ground spices along with a quarter cup of water to prevent burning. Let this simmer for about five minutes and then it's time for the chickpeas. Drain most of the liquid from the can, leaving just enough to barely cover the beans. Now pour that into the pot along with another half cup of water. Cover and boil this on medium low for 10 minutes. Okay, now return to your bubbling cauldron, give the curry a taste and add salt in half teaspoon increments as needed. Finally, garnish with a sprinkle of cilantro. Onto my favorite, the corn. Heat a thin layer of oil in a skillet and add one cup of frozen corn. Cook until this is just warm, which will take five minutes. Then combine with a quarter cup of diced onions, all of the diced jalapeno, two tablespoons of cilantro, and salt to taste. Oh, and unlike other dishes, this corn salsa does not store well overnight. It kind of just turns into this gloopy mess and I have no clue how to fix that. So just be sure to eat all of it the same day, which I promise you 
will not be hard. Next, the masala veggies. Create a single layer of sliced onions and bell pepper, or as I call them, capsicum. Let this cook down for about 15 minutes. Now add the sliced tomatoes, ground spices, and salt to taste. Let this cook for just another minute or two and then take it off the heat. Finally, the chicken. Add some more oil to the same pan, and once the oil is ripping hot, place the chicken thighs on the pan, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Let this side of the chicken cook for about five minutes. You'll know when you're ready to flip once the bottom of the thigh easily releases from the pan and has some dark sear marks. Okay, we're ready to go. Now cook the other side for just two minutes to start. Using your handy dandy meat thermometer, start checking the chicken's temperature. Okay, now the thickest part of the chicken is 165, so we're done. But because I am paranoid, I do like to check the chicken a couple more times just to be sure. Now give the chicken a chop and we are ready to assemble. Hello and welcome to Hashibar's Chipotle. Let me make you a burrito bowl. Here is our homemade Indian-inspired chipotle bowl. It's got a big mix of textures and flavors from the spicy chenna to the sweet pop of the corn to the charred pieces of chicken. This version is more balanced than your typical chipotle bowl since it has less carbs because there's less rice and tons of more protein from the chicken and the chenna. And as with anything you make homemade, we can also control how much salt and oil we used, making this a lot healthier than chipotle. This version is also less than a quarter the price of a chipotle bowl. Depending on where you buy your groceries, this recipe is only three to five dollars per bowl. Today, I topped my burrito bowl with a cilantro mint chutney for some freshness recipe down below. I'd also recommend trying this with some tamarind chutney, which you can make at home or buy at the store. This would also be really yummy with a tikka masala sauce, but I am trying to be healthier, so I just had a little bit of this on the side that I dipped into. So I wanna know, what do you think of this meal? And is this your first time hearing about Chipotle or have you tried a burrito bowl before? And are you gonna try to make this Indian Chipotle bowl on your own? I'm also curious, what are your lunch go-tos throughout the week? Do you cook something quick at home or do you have some favorite lunch spots that you like to go to? Let me know down below in the comments and if you wanna watch a simpler recipe than this, which believe me, I am too after cooking all of that, check out this Indian meal prep video right here Make sure to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Energy. So hungry. I hope you notice this. Uh, okay, I think I'm done. Harshi bar shipart. The boop 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 boop.